Action on Nonviolence monitors English language reports around the world. And in 2017, we identified the three most dangerous places it is to be a civilian. Number three is Afghanistan. The vast majority, around 85% of civilians killed or injured in Afghanistan are by improvised explosive devices, of which suicide bombings is the leading cause. And that's mainly because what we've seen is with the defeat of ISIS in other parts of the world, there has been a kind of a fleeing of jihadists to uh, Afghanistan. It's a combination of, of ISIS and the Taliban using this weaponry system that is causing uh, untold devastation amongst civilians uh, throughout the country, but particularly in Kabul, where there was a massive spike in attacks in 2017 compared to the year before. It's almost as if in a bid to gain headlines, there needs to be bigger and deadlier attacks perpetrated by ISIS and the Taliban. This urgency to create more headlines is fueling terror attacks. We're reading about 40, 50 civilians being killed or injured in a singular attack, and it barely gets a news mention. Number two, Iraq. Iraq has consistently appeared in the top five nations most impacted by explosive violence. Last year was no exception. It was the second most impacted nation in the world and around 75% of those killed or injured by explosive violence there were civilians. Uh, this number increased in proportions when we looked at how many civilians were killed or injured in towns and cities. And this reflects a wider strategic shift in a desire to use more and more airstrikes uh, to combat terrorism. And places like Mosul were particularly impacted by airstrikes last year with civilians bearing the greatest brunt from that harm. Number one, Syria. For the third year in a row, Syria has been the most dangerous place in the world to be a civilian in terms of impact from explosive violence. Air launch attacks over Syria increased by 262% in 2017 compared to the year before, reflecting a fundamental strategic shift in the US, in Russia, and in other nations' attempt to try and bring an end to the conflict there. The mantra might be that it's ISIS causing all the deaths, but the reality is it's intervention by governments that's really causing the harm. And the United States has been responsible for around 15% of civilians killed or injured by explosive weapons in Syria. 92% of those killed or injured in cities and towns when explosive weapons are used will be civilians. States need to hear this. States have to hear this because if they don't hear this, they will continue to kill civilians. And in so doing, they will need to ask the question, are we the bad guys in this? Are we doing the right thing? You cannot export democracy by using bombs.